بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اسد یعقوب اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو گیو یو آ ونڈر فل اسٹڈی پلان فار ایکیڈیمک ایز ویل ایز فار جینڈر ٹریننگ رائٹنگ لیٹس ٹیک اے اسٹارٹ ود رائٹنگ ٹاسک ٹو ناؤ دس اسٹڈی پلان از ناٹ باؤنڈ ٹو سیون ڈیز فورٹین ڈیز ٹوینٹی ون ڈیز اٹس آل اپ ٹو یو یو کین ڈو اٹ آل ان ٹین ڈیز اور ٹوینٹی ڈیز or you can do it all in one to three months it's up to you it depends on the level where you are now well guys before you enter into IELTS writing I would like to advise you to learn something about creative writing number one you can go to YouTube and watch some videos on creative writing now this is what you have to do first and then you have to come to IELTS writing number one Number two, I'm going to give you a list of things to learn. This is for those who really want to achieve their desired band and want to go to their destination country. And those who just want to do, let, take a little chaska or maza and all that, this is not for them. I mean, because this, this plan requires hard work along with smart work, both. Okay, now before you start, it's a good idea to learn all 12 tenses, active voice and passive voice. I'll not teach you that. You can watch any good video because my computer is lying over there. That's why I'm saying you can watch any good video on present simple tense. I get up early in the morning, active voice, present simple tense, first form of the verb. I do not get up late, negative sentences, interrogative sentences, interrogative, negative. Passive voice, English language is spoken all over the world. Present simple tense, passive voice. So learn first, present simple, active voice, passive voice, positive, negative, interrogative, interrogative, negative sentences. After that, past simple and then future simple. Learn tenses in this format. Present simple or present indefinite as they call it in Pakistan, India. Past simple and future simple. Once you are done with simple tense and you should know the use of it. And by the way, you will practice. For example, you learned present simple tense. Now you are going to practice. Write down your daily routine. Every morning I wake up at 6 o'clock. After that, I say my prayers. Then I shower and get ready. At around 7 o'clock, I have my breakfast. After breakfast, I leave my home at 7.30. So just you can write down all these things. We don't write English. We don't do any creative writing. We don't do any writing at all. That is why writing has become a very difficult module for many students. So you learn present simple tense, write your daily routine. Then you learn past simple tense, write the memorable incidents of your life. Try to write as much as possible, but only in one tense. First learn present simple active voice and passive voice, then write in present simple active passive. After that, learn past simple and then write in past tense. Once upon a time when I was small, my father took me to the doctor and I was a very naughty child and the doctor showed me an injection and I then you can go on like that. So past tense and then focus after that. Check your writing on your own. That past tense, second form of the verb. After did, first form for question, did you go, did you come? and all that active voice and passive voice like uh, Spanish language was spoken all over the world in the past right something like that okay even the fact is not right but still I made a sentence for you then learn future do a lot of writing let me tell you there isn't any magic trick that I give you like this and you pick up this pen and once you pick up the pen you say yahoo I become expert in writing this is not going to happen. Writing develops slowly over time with practice. So once you are done with all the tenses, now active voice and passive voice. Now the next stage is you're going to learn model verbs. Can, could, should, may, might. Again, you can watch some tutorials on YouTube. YouTube is full of very nice videos, okay? So you can just watch some tutorials like you're watching my video. You can watch some tutorials on must, can, could, may, might, and all that. This is a plan for 7 to 8 band in IELTS writing module, guys, okay? 
So once you watch that for each thing, now for example, you learned about can. Can is to show ability of doing something. Now write something with can. I can swim, I can speak English, I can cook any dish, I can make videos, I can speak in front of the camera, I can edit my own videos, I can take my father to the doctor, just like that, negative, interrogative, interrogative, negative. I can't help you today, I can't tell a lie. Can you come with me? Can, like that, just practice like that. Now once you are done with tenses, once you are done with modal verbs, can, could, should, may, might, all that, now you are ready to learn which is most important for IELTS writing. We call it three C's of IELTS writing. And these three C's are going to bring you 7 band, 7.5 band and even 8 band. And what are those three C's? C number one, learn to make compound sentences. What are compound sentences? Two ideas joined together, that's a compound sentence. Two sentences joined together, that is what we call compound sentence. And there is an acronym, FAN BOYS. Just go to YouTube and type there how to make English compound sentences. They will teach you that acronym FAN BOYS. F for FOR, A for ALTHOUGH, N for NEITHER, NOR and all that. They will teach you all these things. So once you learn all these things and to make compound sentence, second is you need to make, uh, you need to learn how to make complex sentences because in your writing, you need compound sentences frequently and a couple of complex sentences in body paragraphs are more than enough. Third, whenever you give example, you can use conditional sentence. If people continue to go abroad, for example, if you want to learn English, for that it is not always necessary to go to a foreign country, something like that. So you can always uh, make sentences like first most common like 70% you will make compound sentences. 25% you will make complex sentences. Uh, yeah, 25% you will make complex sentences and only 5% you are going to make conditional sentences. One or two hardly in your essay. So once you learn all these things, you are mature enough, you are prepared enough for IELTS writing. Now come to IELTS writing. Now see, okay. I've learned English, now I'm going to write a letter, I'm going to write a report, I'm going to write an essay, okay? So for this now, when you come to essays, it's a good idea to read and rewrite. Let me tell you, there are four types of essays which are most important. Number one, opinion essay. Number two, discussion essay. Number three, problem solution essay, cause effect essay and all that. Number four, advantages, disadvantages. Learn to write these essays. You will find the topics in Cambridge IELTS books as well. You will find the topics in some extra books which are meant for essay writing. Read sample answers, rewrite and while reading sample answers, you have to improve your knowledge as well. Okay, so you should just go on read, rewrite, read, rewrite. In the same way, when we talk about report writing for academic candidates, there are four categories. Number one, graph with a trend. Number two, comparative graph. Number three, process diagram. Number four, maps. Read about these in detail. Just read what's the structure, what's the pattern, because you know language, you know grammar, you know type of sentences and all that. So reading will further brush your writing if you know the basics of the language. In the same way you come to letter writing, there are three types of letters which general training candidates write. Number one, formal letter. Number two, semi-formal letter. Number three, informal letter. Now see what is a formal letter? How to identify a formal letter? Read some sample answers. You will find those sample answers in Cambridge IELTS book. Otherwise, there is a very good book available on Google IELTS journal. You can read from there as well from IELTS journal and then go on IELTS journal for letter writing, IELTS journal for report writing, journal J-O-U-R-N-A-L, not general, journal. IELTS journal for essay writing. So you can go through these books and these books will improve your 
written expression quite a lot and after some practice remember for writing you have to do practice through writing it's not possible that you are reading 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 and you say okay yeah I, I know how to write I know but I will only read no read and rewrite for example you are practicing for your report writing read a report rewrite that read a sample letter rewrite that read a sample uh, essay rewrite that and once you do all these things grammatically your things are going to be correct and let me tell you in actual exam they may give you some leverage on ideas like your ideas are not very mature or ideas are not very good but the language skill if you demonstrate strong language skill with weak ideas still you will be able to get your desired band score and if you have weak language skill with strong ideas plan for disaster that will not help you at all so this is the whole thing I told you 100% people who are watching this video and who watch this video up to this point out of you now 50% of you are going to act upon it many people left the video in the beginning right so those who reached until this point this thing shows your sincerity your commitment your seriousness your deli your dedication and all that so out of you now 50% people are going to do it let me tell you without doing without putting some effort without actually going through the things we can never achieve anything in life we have to do it if today I'm sitting here and making this video comfortably once upon a time I went through the hardships of my life once upon a time I paid the price to learn all these things which enabled me to sit in front of you and to talk in front of you very very confidently all the best I also teach IELTS online if you want to join my online IELTS classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that Asad Yaqub wholeheartedly wishes you best of luck take care Allah Hafiz